What's up guys, how's it going? It's Matt here. So uh, first thing we're gonna talk about right now is uh, we just lost a living legend. Um, we just lost Arlie Army. Um, Gunnery Sergeant Arlie Army. Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, if you guys wanna do that. Um, from what I've been hearing is uh, he was struggling with a bad case of pneumonia and he lost his struggle. So unfortunately the gunny that, you know, the gunny of gunnies, the Marines Marine, you know, Gunnery Sergeant Arlie Army, who is like, Spokesperson for veterans, spokesperson for the gun community, uh, spokesperson for Glock. He's been around for so many years. He has videos like he did things like mail call when he shot old, shot old guns, and he'd rush like uh, you know target setups with a freaking Maxim machine gun and all that other stuff to call people out. You know, we lost him. All right, we lost we lost Gunny Sergeant Harmon. So uh, simplify Gunny. You know, so right now probably somewhere up in heaven you have uh, Gunnery Sergeant Hartman shouting out orders to the Marines protecting those walls of heaven. So uh, guys, you know, no, don't forget the man, don't forget the man to say that he's like a, li a living legend. Pretty much every single Marine that I ever knew, um, even including myself, um, we all joined the Marine Corps because we wanted to kind of be like Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, you know what I mean? It was, a, you know, Arlie Army. So he has passed, unfortunately. Yeah, he has, he has passed. So just say some prayers for the family, um, do what you can, guys, and uh, spread the word. Yeah, you know, it's a sad day, a sad day, but uh, except for my gunny, you know, we'll be missing you. All right, so anyway, so it got me to thinking about a video that I wanted to do today a little bit. So uh, what gunny, gunny Arlie Army did a lot is, uh, actually, if I remember right, he was actually got out as a staff sergeant and uh, because of all the stuff that he did for their uh, Marines out, after outside the military civilians and stuff like that, they actually gave him a meritorious promotion to Gunny, which would be a little different, but that's what I thought the story was in it. Anyway, so... You know, what got me thinking about doing a video today is how Gunny Ermy was always out there doing old gun videos. All right, old gun videos, Maxim machine guns, you name it. If it's an old gun, he he got his hands on it and he was shooting it. If it was a modern day gun, he was out there shooting it. But he loved his classics. He loved, loved his classics. So, you know, it got me thinking about a lot of modern day kids um, in the firearms. I'm calling them kids, you know, I'm only 34, but you know, modern day millennial firearms owners that uh, go out there and they think that uh, they're pretty invincible with their modern day firearms and their sporting rifles and their 5.56s and their 9mm and uh, the 3.57 SIGs and uh, you know, they're pretty much invincible with their modern day firearms and modern day tactics and they wouldn't even give an old dude with an old 45.70 lever action a second look or a second glance because they got a Glock and they got a, you know, and AR, so how, what, what's the big deal? You know, there's no threat there. Well, you're wrong. All right, so you're wrong. Now, what, I'm, what I mean by that is, um, you know, just because there's an old gun and an old system, uh, these systems are built well. Most of these guns are built well, and the people that usually have them maintain them because they usually pass down fairy heirlooms or the collectors or they just like their older guns or they like their cowboy shooting and stuff like that. So these guns are pretty quality. If you get something like, I don't know, a Sharps rifle that can drop a buffalo, or a 4570 that can drop a buffalo, um, a lion, um, maybe a rhinoceros, he hit it a couple times. Um, if you get something like a 4570, you're trying to tell me that a thing isn't effective? Now, a lot of people will say that, well, the modern day ballistics and modern day firearms, you know, the rifles are perfect. All you need is a 5.56 or a 9mm and you're good to go. Let's see a 5.56 or a 9mm drop a buffalo or a grizzly bear. Uh, it, it doesn't happen very often. It really does not happen very often. If it does, uh, the person's usually going to be in seriously injured or critically injured because um, while they were shooting the damn thing, the thing kept coming at them. Or if you get something like an old trail gun or like an old lever action that can, you know, hit something, make it drop so it doesn't get back up, that's a, that's a threat. That's a very effective caliber. I don't care what modern day science is. If you have that big and that punch much of a 400 grain round coming flying at you, um, yeah, you're going to be freaking taken out of the fight. So don't ever underestimate old dudes with old guns or young dudes. You know, there's some people out there that'll tell you, uh, you know, if, you, if you're ever you know, in a bad situation, you got to have a modern day firearm on your body all the times. Then I'll see you know, some other people that'll be walking around with an old like Colt Peacemaker. I've seen it. People walk around with like old Colt Peacemaker or a uh, or like a 357 Magnum, a 686 Plus or a 686 or like a GP100 or a SP101 or something like that. They're they're walking around with uh, you know 357 Magnums, 44 Magnums, um, and a lot of people look at these guys or 44 Specials or 45 Colts. 
you know, those calibers. A lot of people look at them like, oh, it's just an old gun. What, you know, what, who cares? I got my Glock. I can kick their ass any day. You know, <laughs> just because you have, you know, how to use your guns pretty well and you have modern day technology doesn't necessarily mean that these old dudes don't know how to use their old guns very well. Um, ones that can pretty much drop almost any two-legged or four-legged animals when they know how to use them properly. So don't underestimate those guys. Um, the same argument goes for 1911s. Um, there's a lot of people that go out there all the time. I don't know how many times you guys have heard of it. I've talked about it before. But they say, uh, 1911, all right, 1911s is a, you know, jam-o-matic, it's a crap gun, you know, it's not worth it. Modern day guns are so much better. Why would anyone carry a 1911? Because they're just unreliable, they don't work, and all this other stuff. Um, but then what happens if you ever got into a gunfight with someone like, I don't know, like Clint Smith, who um, pretty much carries a 1911 on a daily basis, and he has for his entire life. Um, do you think, he, just because he's carrying a 1911, that his defensive techniques and his shooting in that firearm is any less effective than your modern day firearms? No, I more than likely to get your ass kicked. You know, so just don't underestimate old dudes with old guns or young guys with old guns. Um, I hear it all the time, guns are guns. All right, guns will get the job done. They shoot a big heavy piece of, you know, big heavy or big light or a small light projectile down range that puts holes in things and can do some serious damage. You get like an old guide gun, like a 4570, and yeah, if you get hit by that, you're gonna fall down and you're not gonna get your ass back up. So when you are out there and you're actually looking at guns and you're talking crap about different guns and stuff like that, you know, maybe, maybe you should just pick one up and give it a whirl and see what you think about it because it actually might work and it might actually be a, a fun little gun to shoot. Even if you know, you're know you just getting it for fun, I mean, the, if anyone's that going out and shot a lever action rifle, there's something about a lever action rifle when you shoot it. It's just a fun gun to shoot. It's just a fun gun to shoot. That, that action design, it's just a sweet little action on it. You know, it's a good to go. You know, you look like modern day military and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, in the military they have uh, their 249s, their M240s, you know, their belt feds and stuff like that. Um, is there really much of a difference in a built, like say if there's a dug-in fighting position between a 240 that is engaging targets or an old Gatlin gun with people that know how to use it that's engaging targets that's dug in. Um, is there going to be much of a distance if you ever have to actually rush the objective? Um, will the 240 work a little bit better? Yeah, you can aim it a little bit better. But when they have that little hand crank and it's going, does that make it any less lethal than the you know, 240 or uh, 249, especially if people know how to use it properly? No, it doesn't. You know, uh, like Sharps rifles, uh, uh, you know, a Sharps rifle, people look at it all as a piece of, you know, old gun, it's a cool piece of history, you know, but the caliber's too ridiculous, and it's just, you know, you know, you would never use something like that. Until someone from a thousand yards away shoots it and takes out a freaking buffalo with it. Um, and then you start, like, questioning whether or not that gun is actually, you know, a good option or, or an effective caliber because I know people say it's, it's an old caliber it's just not not even close to modern day technology yeah but it can drop a buffalo yeah it can or like I said once again 4570 it's another fun gun another fun lever action that was actually uh, an army issued uh, rifle back in the, the, what, the 1800s I believe it was yeah do you think you know some dude who knows how to use it knows how to shoot it and knows how to hit a target pretty damn good with it is not as much as a threat or that caliber isn't as effective as say a 5.56 or a 308. Um, when you 5.56 you have to shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and yeah they'll finally fall down but like a 45.70 you pretty much hit them and they fall down and they don't get back up. I mean do you honestly think it's any less effective than a, than a modern day firearm? You gotta remember when it comes to firearms guys you know the, the person behind the firearm is what makes it a lethal weapon all right that, that's what makes it a lethal weapon. You know, firearms are tools. You know, firearms are tools. There's people that can know how to use them, people that don't really know how to use them. Just because someone is carrying an old peacemaker on them doesn't mean that they can't hit a target or that they aren't effective in a fight. Um, you know, it, it, it's, just, it's just not the case, guys. It, it's a myth. It really is a myth. So, you know, I just want to cover, it's kind of funny how this went from Arlie Ermey to old guns and stuff like that. But, you know, it's, I think it's kind of a fun topic. You know, I've always had a, a respect for Lee Ermey. I've always loved watching his shows like Mail Call and the stuff he was doing online and all that other stuff. And he was doing the Glock commercials. It was always kind of funny and stuff like that. You know, I, you know, I love the man. He was a good man, you know, good Marine. And it's just got me thinking about it because he was an old dude that knew how to use guns, right? He was an old dude that 
old dude that knew how to freaking kick ass with guns. So just because you have modern day firearms and modern, modern day technology and modern day tactics doesn't necessarily mean that an old dude like, you know, old, uh, you know, old, uh, you know, RIP, freaking Gunnery Sergeant Arlie Ehrman couldn't kick your ass in a dark alley. So anyway, I'm just throwing it out there, guys. So once again, say some prayers for Arlie Ermy, Semper Fi, brother. So uh, you know, we'll see you again. You know, like I said, he's holding those, holding those Marines that have passed serving the country at attention out there. You know, guarding the walls of heaven. So that's what Gunny does. You know, he's the Gunny. He'll be Gunny to to the end. You know, for eternity, we'll have a Gunny looking out over us and taking care of us and making sure everything's good and we're good to go. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me, guys, and remember, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace and separate five gunning.